Hi everyone, this video is going to cover probably the first real formula that I learned and that is VLOOKUP. Now if you want to learn everything about VLOOKUP I suggest you watch this particular video. I've just uh, shown it below. Um, it'll take you through about 20 or 30 really complex and um, detailed examples of how to use this amazing formula. I'm just going to show you a real quick demo of how you can look up something in a list and populate something in a database for you. And so what we've got here, I'm just going to delete this in a second, but I'll show you what I'm doing. If you pick a name, their position appears. And now I've used VLOOKUP in cell B8, but in the one below it, I've used INDEX and MATCH, which is another way to accomplish the same thing. Now how you might use this in, in action, um, I've demonstrated below here. And you can type a date in, let's change that date to later. What you get is the week automatically populate. And if we choose a different person, we both get a position change. And I've just used age here, it may not be the best example, but an age calculation. And so both of these two things and the week are just lookups from two tables that I've got at the back end. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do this right from the beginning. Okay, here we are, right at the start. Nothing entered in, no formulas, no drop-down boxes. I'm going to go to the control panel page and what we've got here, it goes down there we go, to row 38, is we've got a grid of data. I've just chosen position and date of birth as two things that you might look up. There may be a whole bunch of stuff that you use this for. If you watch an accounting video, they might show you that it is for looking up names, addresses, and things like that in a sales list. But um, for us, I'm just going to put a position and a date of birth. So. Uh, there's a few ways you can do that, but, but this is probably the simplest way to understand. I want to select just column A, all of the names, go up into the name box, and I'm going to type list of names. Then I'm going to select all three columns. doesn't really matter if you included the headings. Um, in this particular instance, so um, don't sweat that one, but I have uh, in both the list of names and now when I type table of names, I haven't included it. So it's important that you're consistent, either do it for one, uh, either do it for both or not at all. So I've chosen not to include the headings. So now if I click on that, Or the table it's got what I need I'm going to do the same thing here I'm just going to do the second table and I'm going to call it list of dates table of dates now I use those prefixes all the time in my building because <coughs> it makes things quite a lot easier sometimes when you're writing formula so if I now want to look up Debbie's position I can do so quite easily. But the first thing I want to do actually is I held down the control key and I was able to select two cells up the top and two cells further down. Clicking on data validation choosing list and if I hit F3 this is on a PC I can select simply list of names or you might just type it in I'm just typing it so now the impact of doing that is that you can select from a list alright so now I'm going to write my formula what VLOOKUP does is it finds the first um, column of the table and it looks down at vertically starting at the top until it finds the name that you've chosen. It then goes across into whatever column you specify and pulls out the answer. 
and so let's start typing. As soon as I get to VLO, it knows that I'm looking at VLOOKUP. It's asking us to fill in this information. What do I want to look up? I want to look up DB Ross. Where do I want to look it up? I want to look it up in a table that I have called. As soon as I start typing table, all of the tables that I've created start appearing and that's the reason that I use table at the beginning. I could easily have called that names table but then I would have to remember that I did that. So table I always put at the beginning. I know that the position was in column 2 so I'm going to type a 2 there and I want to choose false so either false or I could simply type zero. It's the same thing. And that gives me the position. And if I drag that down, it'll also pull in the next one. So let's just go up the top and make sure that that's working. So if I change, it's working just fine. I'm just going to delete Gemma Jones's one because I wanted to use a different method, which I'll do shortly. Um, using index and match. But VLOOKUP, what do you want to look up? Where do you want to look it up? What column is the answer in? Pretty simple. Once you get that, you'll be fine. And you'll, you'll use false, which is zero on the end here, 99% of the time. When might you use true at the end of VLOOKUP? You do that when it's not an exact answer. And so if I look at this date here, the 18th of the 2nd, if I went down the first column of this date table, I won't find the 18th of the 2nd. And so therefore, we'll get an error. What you need to have it do is find an approximate match. And so it'll look through the table and find the most appropriate match given what you entered in. So 18th of the second should give us the answer of week two. So let's try that out. Equals VLOOKUP. Click on the cell. Type in table. And it gives us all the tables that we've created. The answer's in column two. And this time, I want to say true. I could also have put a 1 in there. And it tells us week 2. So what if I put 25th in there? It adjusts to week 3, so that's good. It's working. And so that true and false is quite important to understand. But as I mentioned previously, you're almost always going to be looking at an exact match because you only want to find the position of Anita Lawrence, not an approximate one. In this case, I can drag it down. Let's continue with the VLOOKUP and we'll come back to the index and match shortly. So, if someone has chosen this particular athlete, we want to pull on their position. So it's exactly the same as we did before. V look up. <clears throat> Drag that down. Now, if I copy this across, it gives us an error for now, but that's okay. If I click inside the cell, it highlights parts of the spreadsheet which are involved in this formula. So I need to drag that back because when I copied it across, the cell moved with us. If I hit enter now, it's basically replicating the, the formula from column D. I don't want that. I actually want column 3. And I'm going to drag that down. And now you might see this uh, time, time and time again when you're doing things in Excel. Unfortunately, um, it can be quite confusing. This is actually a count of a number of days. 
and I'm not sure why this works this way, but the first of the first 1900 is actually 1. If I change that to number, we'll see that. That's how Excel stores dates. So if I typed first of the first 2000 in, that's the number that it gives me for that. So it's simply counting days. If I wanted to show a date, I would simply change the format and there's my dates. So at the moment it's pulling through their date of birth. So if I had typed date of birth here, that would be great. What I've actually done is typed age. So I need to do a little bit more work. So if I want to find out their age on the date that I was recording this data, I could simply find today's date and minus off their date of birth. Now if I hit enter now, it gives me this funny thing here. So that's still a date. And that's not much better. That's giving them a number of days. So if I wrap this whole lot in brackets and divide it by 365, I get their age. So using VLOOKUP we've got position and age looking up quite nicely. That's these cells here. We've also got date looking up nicely too. So things are going pretty well. If you go onto the really hardcore Excel forums, you'll find arguments and discussions about whether VLOOKUP or INDEX is a better formula. The reality is it doesn't matter. Um, they'll both do a similar thing. INDEX is much more flexible, but it also adds a little bit of extra complication if you're learning from, this, from the beginning. But INDEX is something that I use extensively, and if we were trying to use it um, to answer these same questions, we could do it like so. The order of what you need to type in is slightly different. It's asking us, firstly, to specify where is the table. So, it's table of names. It's then asking us to tell, tell it what row number and what column number the answer is in. And so we don't know the row number, we need to look it up. So I have to use another formula, so you can see that it's getting a little bit more complicated when you use one formula inside another formula. We need to find whereabouts Gemma Jones' name falls within the list of names. Now we've talked about exact matches before. We also know that position is in column 2, so I'm just going to type that in there. So the same result with a different formula. Why would you use index? Well, there's a few reasons which I won't go into, but index um, does allow you to do a few cool things if your table isn't a standard looking table. So for example, if Gemma Jones's name wasn't in the first column, we couldn't do a VLOOKUP. So if Gemma had an ID number that was the first column, we couldn't do a lookup based on her name. We'd have to use index, which can look in any column in the table and return a result in any other column in the table. So it has a bit more flexibility, which is why people like it a lot. So the key to setting up um, a system like this, if you're entering data, is to have lists. I believe they should be on another sheet, and I always call this sheet my control panel. The next thing to, to do, in my belief, uh, is, is to write some named ranges. So I created four for this example. List of dates, list of, list of names, table of dates, table of names. That makes formulas quite easy to understand. Then you write your VLOOKUP formula and everyone's a winner.
So hopefully that video has been useful. A couple of people have emailed me recently with some questions specifically about that um, use of VLOOKUP. So with a bit of luck that has helped uh, get you started and this video and spreadsheet can be of use to you.